Hi guys. In this part five, our Muslim apologist Hamza repeats what he said in part four and makes the same mistakes, a basic mistake, talking about a basic principle. He doesn't know what he's doing and can't formulate a cogent argument because he simply does not understand what believing something really is. If he says he believes gods and goddesses can exist and his favorite one really does, this constitutes a claim which can be questioned. If no good reasons why the belief is held exist, the claim can be rejected. And what happens now? Well, the default takes over, of course, and this is something he believes exists does not exist until demonstrated. It's pretty straightforward, one would think. And something I noticed, I, I think at least, he does not understand the difference between I believe and I do not believe. So he does not understand that I believe X does not exist and I do not believe X exists are something fundamentally different. Because one is a belief, which says I believe, and this requires a reason, and this can be questioned. Whereas I do not believe something exists, then this is simply not believing something without any consequences. It is not believing due to a missing good reason to do otherwise, because none was provided. Very easy. Okay, that's it for this video. See you again in the next one. Cheerio. Goodbye.